the Buck Street killer driver should be locked up indefinitely, prosecutors claim, comparing the impact of the crime to that of the Port Arthur massacre. James Gargazolas, 29, was found guilty last year of six counts of murder and 27 counts of reckless conduct endangering life over the January 2016 attack in Buck Street. In sentencing submissions presented to the Supreme Court today prosecutors claimed Gargazola's crimes represented the worst examples of murder in Victoria. Gargazola's murdered Yoshik Kano, 25, Jessica Mudi, 23, Matthew C, 33, Bavita Patel, 33, Talia Hagen, 10, and three-month-old Zachary Matthew Bryant. Like the unspeakable crimes committed by Martin Bryant at Port Arthur, Buck Street, Melbourne, will never be the same again, the submission stated. In their submission, prosecutors said Justice Mark Weinberg should sentence Gargazolas to life without parole based on the number of murders, the deaths of two children, his criminal history and the need for deterrence. The courtroom was packed with relatives of the dead who told Justice Weinberg and Gargazolas how their lives have changed. Yosu Kano's parents Masayuki and Minako told the court through a translator they continued to live in sorrow with no apology from Gargazolas. Mr Kano said his wife had become sensitive to the sound of cars and walked away from the edge of footpaths. We cannot hold back our anger towards the accused, he said. He said it was painful that their dreams of their son working as an occupational therapist would now never come to fruition. Through this tragedy people close to our family have come to perceive Melbourne as an unsafe city, he said. Mr. Cano also read a victim impact statement from his son Junpei who said his joy had halved and his sorrow and burden doubled.